me play with it, too. Uh, give me a second. Hey, it's here! make a real impression on him. We've got to catch him first. Come on, stay with him. Huh? huh? Who are those guys? Demons! Step on it! Whoops, we've been spotted. Ha! They think they can shake us? Pretty awesome, right? Prince, now's your chance! Yeah, on it! Treating us like pushovers? Fine. Guess I don't need to hold back then. Treating us like pushovers? We go. Okay, that should do it. All right, let's rumble. C curse you, demons! Don't complain. We're only taking a bit. Pleasure doing business. Gotta say, don't see much point in stealing a few sips of water at a go like this. I say it's high time we hijack the king's entire water source for ourselves. I say you control yourself. Let the humans up their dwindling numbers first. We don't want to drive them to extinction, after all. Try a world without humans, I dare you. Believe me, it'd be awfully boring for demon kind. Huh? Prince, what are you doing? Hey, you. It's water. Take it. Water? Thank you. <laughs> Guess the world really is coming to an end. The Fiend Prince giving water to a human. I couldn't believe my eyes. 
If we're gonna start doing good deeds, we might as well turn in our pitchforks. Shut it! I'll torment the kid plenty once he grows up. Can't remember the last time I had water. Thanks a bunch. Good, good. By the way, Prince, it sounds like slime's at death's door. Huh? I think he accidentally fell asleep in the sun again. It might not be too late yet. Would you please go bring him some water, Prince? Sure, but where is he? I heard that he and Polta were hanging out together up on top of that cliff. Nothing's ever easy. Oh, and should you come across anyone else in need of water on the way, give them some too, would you? Hey, aren't you just pushing your chores on me? Well, I wouldn't dream of it. I am tied up with other tasks, though. Huh. Fine. Whatever. I'll go. Well, let's get our hall divvied up, then. something for me? Next time you go out of town, get me raptor scales. Pity please? I can't take it anymore. What? Hey, you okay? Here, have some water. Oh. seeing how long I could go without water. <gasps> Nearly died. Find a new way to kill time. Oh, yeah. I've learned my lesson. Here, take this as thanks. Maybe we should steal even more. 
That would be a great help. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, think you can save him? Well, probably. Yeah. Thought you were a gunner! Uh huh, great. Why is your voice so dang loud? Thanks, Prince! Stop falling asleep in the sun, would ya? No, no kidding! Today is a real scorcher! Yeah. Ha. Uh, why'd the world have to end up like this? Things have been like this for around 50 years now. Ever since man's foolishness and a succession of natural disasters caused this one small desert to expand farther and farther until it had swallowed up pretty much the entire world. The few humans who somehow managed to survive, well, they just kept on waging their pointless wars. Destroy that machine. Guard it at all costs. Like you wipe them all out. Now destroy that weapon before they have a chance to use it. Keep advancing until the facility is in range of your cannon. And so, humanity's inane belligerence resulted in the worst possible outcome for the entire planet. Demons belong in gloomy darkness. So, what are we doing out here under the blazing sun? <laughs> they call this scorching, desolate desert Sandland.
But a chance encounter is about to change this dying wasteland forever. Human. That's right, I'm a human. I come from a neighboring town. I'm Sheriff Rao. I'm here today because I want to ask for you demons' help. Now, is one of your leaders willing to listen to what I have to say? Human Sheriff, you've got guts showing your face around here. So, are you the demon's leader? The Great King Lucifer is our leader, but he'd never meet with you himself. I'm the Fiend Prince Beelzebub. State your business. Well then, I'll get straight to the point. I'd like your assistance with my mission, searching for the Legendary Spring. Legendary? Uh, explain. I have reason to believe that it exists somewhere here in this desert. A spring? In this freaking desert? <laughs> you must have sunstroke or something. What makes you think that? Do you know a bird called the water finch? This bird feeds on small freshwater fish, and during its mating season flies north to lay eggs among the rocky cliffs there. <sighs> That's so, thief? Hmm, it does sound familiar. But how exactly is this relevant? Because I saw a water finch flying north yesterday. This means there must be a spring with small fish to sustain these birds. Somewhere in this desert, to the south of our current location. But the desert to the south of here is dangerous and wild. I doubt a lone human can make it even so far as halfway across. That's why I'm here. I would like for a powerful demon to accompany me on my journey. Let's say we somehow manage to find this spring. Do you really think that humans and demons could share its water between them? Of course. If you like, you're even free to live there yourselves, as thanks for your help. All we ask is to be allowed to take what water we need to get by. So tell me, is all this your idea? Or are you here on behalf of the king? It's my plan alone. As if that greedy tyrant cares for anyone other than himself. We must find this spring by ourselves for the people. Uh, doesn't sound like a bad deal. But we've been doing fine stealing water for ourselves. How about it? Anybody Working with a human? Along? But it no. served that selfish I king right to have his crash. stash Sounds stolen. Sounds a bit too dangerous, don't you think? Please accept this as a token of goodwill. 
one of the few game consoles to have survived these chaotic times. So cool! And with games too! <gasps> Hold on! I'll ask my dad for permission! Hey, uh, Dad? Yes, I heard. Eight and he seems trustworthy enough. And it gives you a chance to sharpen your skills. Y yes, sir! That said... Once you return, you're only allowed to use that console for one hour a day. Be sure to only play in a bright room, and don't sit too close to the screen. Uh, fear is fear! this? How many passengers can fit? With luggage, looking at two at most. Then me and... Thief, I guess. Why me? You know all kinds of stuff, and you're good at stealing. P Prince, I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be easier to have someone who can fly carry you there? Quit complaining and get your butt in here right now. Hey, let's move. Prince, stay on your toes. Souvenirs for us. Let's go. First, let's head south. That's the direction the water finch came from. Say, hey, old man, how long do you think this is gonna take? Call me Rao, please. And, well, probably quite some time. Hey, let me take the wheel for a bit. Leave the human machines to their makers, Prince. Sure, take it for a spin.
First time driving, let's start by going straight. That's right, just follow the road south. Well, well, not bad. You're a natural, kid. You can boost to speed up. <laughs> you know, this is kind of exciting. Well, I'm not excited. No, sir. Not even a little. I get it already. Give it a rest. I wonder if humans have managed to grow over the years. Not even a smidge. All they do is wage war. Same as always. But the video games are getting better and better. The only things we get credit for are games no one even knows how to make anymore. How ironic. holes. That's not good. Huh? Step on it. Whoa! A dandy dragon, and it's hungry. Even I can't beat something that huge. For it, it's on our tail. Don't run out of boost. We need to go faster! It's catching up! It's on us! Lose it! Don't spare the engine! Full speed! Not good! Step on it! We need to go faster! It's catching up! Go, Boris! Put the pedal to the floor! We might just make it! Not good, step on it! We can't take another hit! We good job! Don't let it gain up! Not good, step on it! <laughs> <laughs> 